Hola, welcome everybody. I am uh, happy to be here talking about tequila with all of you, um, being the most emblematic drink that we have in Mexico, being um, what I say, it's a gift from Mexico to the world. I can be here talking for hours about tequila. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot um, that we can learn, that we can discuss, that we can um, enjoy. And it is um, a pleasure to start with Tequila Blanco. We have um, two categories of tequila that is important that I can um, explain to you. We have two, which is 100% Blue Agave Tequilana Weber and tequila, which is made of 51% of Blue Agave and the rest of different sugars that I can talk to you in a different um, you know, episode or session. Um, and with that, we're going to stick with 100% blue agave. And I'm going to talk, there's five types of tequila, um, types, types of tequila, okay? And we have blanco, gold, reposado, añejo, and extra añejo. And in English, everybody tells me, Mari Carmen, it's reposed, it's extra aged, it's ultra aged. And I always say, hey, you know, with, with my friends, with who I talk to, with when I give you a tequila tasting, I always tell you, we can learn the words, right? We can learn uh, blanco, reposado, añejo, extrañejo. Because when you go shopping, you want to know what you're buying. You want to read the label. And my goal to you is teach you and explain to you what every category, what every type is like, so you can discover what you like and you can learn to taste and to, and to smell and to appreciate everything um, the best. So Blanco is the first type that we're gonna be learning today, or silver. Um, most all the time you're gonna find in the labels Blanco. Now in this type you find silver, Okay, so if you go and you find, um, you know, like this that I'm using today, um, you see Blanco, right, in the, in, in the label. So, you know, Blanco is white or silver. Tequila Blanco, white tequila, okay. Um, but it is um, something that I think is, it's good because also we love when you talk in Spanish and when you try to, you know, learn our language, it is so nice when I find somebody here that, that try to say hola, you know, and I'm like, I, I love it. So I, I think it's really, really, um, you know, important that, that we learn the name. I um, also say tequila is a synonym of Mexico. Mexico is a synonym of mariachi, mariachi of fiesta, of, of being together, of celebrating together and also always a celebration somebody you know some something that we are enjoying together calls for a toast for a toast you know with tequila the most emblematic drink so um if i can bring you to an experience okay and tell you that um with the agave flavors i'm going to start by telling you this in the tequila blanco my mentors, I, ha I have several mentors that I totally um, so happy that, that I have learned so much um, in these years with wonderful people next to me, teaching me, guiding me, um, you know, and like I said, you know, in Mexico, it, it's just the warmth of the people of, of, of everything that I have truly connected with. And I want you to come with me and, and share this and experience this with me. So one of the things that I do when I do my tastings um, that I think is really important is um, put this, one of my mentors say that, that that's not you know, um, the best, that's what I was telling you, but I do it anyway because it's a really great way of connecting. So we put, pour this tequila um, blanco in our hands because what I'm gonna do is a little exercise to bring you to tequila town in Mexico, um, you know, where, Tequila, we have the denomination of origin, okay? So tequila can only be made in Mexico in five states. Um, we you know, do this, rub our tequila, and wait until the alcohol evaporates a little. 
um, if we have a good tequila from a good quality, you can smell the agave. And it's amazing. So if we, you know, if, if you know, the alcohol evaporates and you close your eyes and you smell, the smell that comes to you is agave, 100% agave. And I can bring you to tequila five o'clock in the morning and you get up and you are like this and then you smell and this is agave. It's amazing. The, the, the experience and the flavor of, of being in tequila and learning and feeling everything that is there. So it's, it, agave, it's wonderful. You know, in another session, I can talk about every benefit of agave, which is an amazing plant um, given to us by uh, the god, you know, the goddess. And, and it's just incredible. There's a wonderful story um, behind um, you know, behind tequila that I'll touch um, in, in a different episode. But don't uh, forget about Mayagüel, which is um, the goddess, okay, that, um, you know, brings us tequila. And, um, and so with this, I want to talk about how to taste tequila blanco, um, you know, or how to um, do the tasting of a, of a tequila. Um, normally, we could do it in, in, in different ways. Remember always, a tasting, I always explain as reading a book. Like if we all are in a book club and we're all reading the same story, we're never going to get the same thing or we're never going to get the same message or we're never going to feel the same, uh, all of us together. We have different taste buds. It's the same thing. So I'm going to get different experiences that you're going to get and different experiences because we cannot feel the same thing. So every time you're tasting something, don't expect to take and feel the same thing that everybody else. This is very personal. We have over 600 aromas in tequila. It is, um, you know, it, it's incredible what you feel. So I invite you to get a crystal cup that's another thing that I um, always say is cup or glass, right? Um, because in, 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 you know, for sometimes it's glass, sometimes it's cup. So here, you know, I always say, but this is a glass or a cup, um, but it's crystal. Crystal is porous, okay? Um, glass is not. So when we have a crystal cup, we allow um, the liquid to come alive again because it's alive in the bottle. So you pour it in the crystal a cup and, and all the aromas, it, it comes alive again. So it's, it's incredible um, if, if we let it rest for just a little bit and um, we can enjoy more what we're drinking. Um, you know, after, I, I can tell you this is a riddle cup. I think it's number eight, made for tequila. Um, just like in wine, you know, there's um, the cup for Pinot Noir, the cup for Merlot, you know, we have a cup for tequila. But in a different episode, I want to talk to you about um, what we have in tequila and, um, you know, what, how we have come up from drinking, you know, in a caballito, which is wonderful too, but we can't get the aromas as well as we can in a real cup. So I'm talking about, you know, doing the tasting and doing all these. So, um, you know, we can do it behind a um, white piece of paper because we can if you see and you put it behind a white piece of paper you can really appreciate more the color so in a white tequila it is the hue which is the matisse in Spanish that you see in the edge that is really silver really clear brilliant um, clear um, you know with a shine that's just very incredible this one I think it's so um, clear that I can even see a little bit of a blue, um, you know, tone to it, um, you know, in, 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 the, in the hue. If you tilt a little bit of the, you know, of the hue, you can, you can really see, you know, just the hue. Um, if you, you know, that's just in the eye. Um, you can also pour, pour, put your cup down, you know, to see if you find anything floating in your tequila. but. Um, you know, you can really see it, like, you know, like if you put it down 
and it's really, really clear. You don't want to find any, any carbons, anything floating there. Um, this is a wonderful, clear, completely transparent um, tequila with a really great shine um, to it with the aroma you know you never want to grab your cup like this like in wine also um because you know you warm your your drink and then you know all the alcohol you know comes out more so we just want to make sure and grab it this way um if you shake your cup a little in this cup then you see oh my gosh look at that see how it forms like a crown you see the crown forming and then the legs that fall, um, you know, you can see the density of the, you know, um, this is a 40%, um, you know, percent alcohol. So you see that this is a dense body. You see all the legs um, falling, which is, you know, which is wonderful. In a um, tequila blanco, we find a lot of the raw um, material, you know, um, of, of the agave, the smells of the agave, um, the citrus notes. Um, it's fruit, you know, really fruity. Um, and like I said, there's many ways of doing it. Um, you know, there's primary um, smells, secondary, and then, you know, all the way to the top. Primarios, you know, primary, secondary, and terciarios, you know, the third aroma that comes from, you know, um, from the raw material comes up to the top. Um, if you want to smell it, you know, like that. Um, also, the way I like to do it, I always say it's 12, you know, in the 12 o'clock, in the 6 o'clock, in the 3 o'clock, in the 9 o'clock. Um, I like to open my mouth a little when I smell it so I don't get a lot of the alcohol because I can spend more time, um, you know, if I just open my, my mouth just a little bit like this. So if, if I close my mouth like this, then, then, then the alcohol hits me and I can't spend more than just three seconds smelling it. Um, but if you open your mouth just a little bit, we can spend a little bit more time understanding the smells that, that, that we get. And then you can really smell the agave. You know, I get like a, a pineapple, um, you know, uh, smell. You know, it, it's sweet, um, you know, it, it's, oof, I, I, I love, I love, I love, I love the smell of this, of this tequila because, you know, you really get all the fruit, um, the fruit um, notes um, to it. Um, you know, invite your friends to do a tequila tasting with you. The aromas that we get depends also in, in many ways of the way that the tequila is cooked. It could be cooked in a um, brick oven, in a autoclave, you know. There, so we can talk about every tequila. I would love to sit down and, and, and take you to a smell of, of each tequila that, that we can find. But you can, you can buy different tequilas, have your friends over, write notes, and compare each tequila blanco and find differences and find different aromas. Um, you know, um, you know, this I can find a little bit of a jasmine um, note to it. And um, it's just really aromatic, okay? So write, write down your notes and then uh, for the tasting, um, you know, again, this is individual, okay? So some people swirl the tequila around, some people leave it 10 seconds in the mouth, Okay, so I'm just gonna do what I have found the best um, that has worked for me, okay? The way I like to do it is I like to put a little bit in my mouth and then breathe, swallow, and then, you know, get the excess of the alcohol out so you can really taste what, what we're looking for. So I'm gonna do it for you. Mm. And then you can really taste the agave very clear. Mm, a little bit of a pepper. Um, I feel a little bit of a pepper note to it. Fruit, absolutely, you know, like the orange, 
lime, lemon, you know, um, that's, that's there. Um, also, you know, what's really fun is getting with your friends together and then asking them, you know, like I told you, it's, it, it's like reading a book. So what do you get? What do you get? What do you find? And, you know, in, in, in many, in many uh, ways, I find this reminds me as, uh, as of a wet um, grass or wet dirt, tierra mojada, you know, like, like wet dirt. Um, and then, you know, somebody else, because it's true, it reminds me the smell. So it doesn't have to be, you know, all the fruity or the her herbaceous, you know, or the herbs or, or everything else, but just what does it remind you of? Because it, it is so incredible, you know, just to think that to have this cup in our hands, it's been at least seven years of work, okay? And that's one of the things that I love about tequila that's really important when I tell you to drink a tequila blanco is this is being at least seven years because at the time that they planted the agave and then we wait for the agave to be ready, um, it's seven years. So it's, it's a lot of work. So, you know, this is the only drink in the world, um, the only um, vestilado, you know, the still, um, you know, drink that we have that has this characteristic because with wine um, is the same, um, but it takes, it's by season. This is the whole year. So it's, you know, it's, it's the difference of, 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 do, of doing that, you know, of drinking tequila, you know, compared to other drinks. So it takes, you know, a lot of work, a lot of care that, that, I, that I absolutely admire when, when I go to tequila and I see the process. It's incredible um, to know that. So, you know, when, when you taste it, find and write your notes also of, of what flavors you're picking up and compare all the different tequilas. I hope that um, this helped. And then what do we pair um, tequila blanco with? I think also is uh, whatever you like, right? I think that tequila blanco goes really well with citrus, um, things like uh, a ceviche, goes really well with ceviche type of fish, okay? Um, I like to, Paired with guacamole because of the citrus, you know, when you do the lime in the guacamole, it goes really well. But my favorite also is peanuts. Just peanuts without flavor, just peanuts, roasted peanuts. And when you're talking with somebody like, like an appetizer and, um, and, you know, and you're feeling it, it's just really good. Um, you know, if, if you do a pairing and you do a ceviche and you pick up the notes, you know, and, and you want to try a little bit of, of your tequila and then try a little bit of the ceviche, try a little bit of, you know, it just enhances everything. It's a bump in your mouth, you know, I say. So, um, you know, when I do my tastings, you know, I always um, pair it with a ceviche or, you know, or something like that. But peanuts is wonderful. And, um, and always remember um, to drink with somebody, um, you know, with, with a good talk, with a good, um, you know, excuse responsibly and, um, and always enjoying learning, getting your friends together and um, learning um, a little bit more. So I will see you next time. I hope I um, brought you to enjoy um, Tequila Blanco and I can't wait uh, for the next session. Salud. Gracias.